Catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, 2357, 2358, it tells very clearly about uh, the church stand on homosexual act, uh, tendencies and everything. So you can read them by yourself. So what exactly is homosexuality? It is explained here. So don't get mixed with the transgenderism, gender dysphoria and all those things. This is another diversion of it. Homosexuality means who experience an exclusive or predominant sexual attraction towards a person of the same sex. And some people, especially when when we are smaller kids and all, some people get confused. One or other way, they are getting attracted to the same sex. Some people even ask me a question. I think I am a homosexual. I said, why? Because I feel an attraction towards men. Then I asked him a question. See, sometimes some kind of attraction you may feel for various reasons. Peer group, he may be your best friend or he may be helping you very much in your studies or he may be good in sports or you both are a good team and everything. Various reasons are there. It doesn't mean you are homosexual. Don't identify like uh, Alfred Kinsey and say that I am homosexual. No. This is, they are experiencing exclusive and predominant attraction, sexual attraction. Remember, sexual attraction towards the same sex, could be male or female. Do you understand the difference there? So we have to ask this question. That means they will not have any attraction towards the opposite sex. What is the normal attraction process which is stamped in our body? The spousal meaning of the body? Attraction towards the opposite sex. So the direction should go this way, but unfortunately for various reasons. The church says its psychological genesis is unknown. We don't know the reasons. There are many reasons the psychologist says, but the church says, Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly if that is the reason. Instead of going directly to the opposite direction, it is getting diverted to the other direction. That means they will not have, a, that is a very exclusive and predominant. Again, coming back. So when you say I have homosexual tendencies, we have to test this. Is it exclusive sexual attraction to the same sex? Then, in such case, it is very difficult if that person goes into marriage, the marriage can be in trouble. There are many cases that took place. So the church says, now, we have the right orientation, but this is disoriented towards the wrong direction. Live in prayer and chastity, and let the Lord heal whatever may be the, the psychological genesis of it. Let the Lord heal and come back. Instead of this direction, let it come back to this. Then you can go to the normal life. Until then, we have to wait. Because some parents, they do this. They have a exclusive sexual attraction towards the same sex people. And parents think, okay. If they get married, either male or female, this problem will be solved. No. There are many cases. People got divorced after one year or two years. So what I'm saying is, that depends on what level you are. I cannot give an answer correctly that is going to solve. If it is an exclusive, predominant one, definitely that person needs help. Maybe psychological counseling and opening up and uh, praying more and getting healed because, because of some wounds. We don't know, unknown reasons. The Lord knows it, he can. That's why the church is saying, 
come back to the Lord. Let him heal you. Let him help you. So that's the answer I would say for uh, your uh, question. And it depends on. But if you have uh, someone like that, let them talk to somebody who can help them. Let them talk to someone who can help them. If they need some psychological counseling and um, spiritual sharing and things like that, definitely that will help. Don't just neglect or ignore the cases. So, why the church is not allowing same-sex marriage? The word marriage itself we cannot use in the case of same sex because that is not applicable there. So that's why the church always says same sex union. Two people of the same sex coming together. The marriage concept is different. So that's why I don't want even... Let me ask this question. Is homosexuality a choice by the individual? Are they born that way? Yes or no? Is it chosen by the individual? Is it chosen by the individual? Are they choosing that way? Are they born that way? They are not born that way because science has not proved any genes connected to that so far. It is not chosen by the individual. It, is, it, it happened. That's why the church is saying we don't know the psychological genesis of that. The reason behind it, we don't know. But some people have this problem. It is the fact. It is not that one fine day, there are people who may be choosing, but generally speaking, this is not the one fine day morning, they were thinking, okay, I want to be a homosexual. Okay, go into the college and say, hey, tomorrow onwards I will be homosexual. No. I don't know if people choose that way. But at the same time, it's a struggle. They don't know. But when they have something like that, that's why they need to come out and talk to a spiritual sharing and things like that. So that's the reason it is not a sin in itself. If somebody is feeling a homosexual attraction in itself, it is not a sin. Because it's not freely chosen by the individual. There is no moral culpability in, included in their, in their feeling. But the church is saying, if I am acting on it, there is a moral culpability, an ethical question comes. Do you get the difference you get? That is what the church is telling. You should not be, church cannot approve homosexual acts. You are going, walking through the street, one of the gender men, you are walking through the street. A beautiful woman is coming opposite to you. You feel very much attracted. You are getting some weird feelings in your mind. In itself, I don't blame you because that's the way you are created. In itself. You are feeling so much attracted, you are thinking, oh, she is so beautiful, if she would have been my wife, oh man, how nice it would have been, these thoughts are coming. In itself, this is not wrong. The next step, hmm, what should I do now? Okay, I should do some trick to get her. So, or you are just going and uh, holding her hand, want to hug her, kiss her, everything you want to do right there. There is a moral culpability there. That's what the church is telling, no, we cannot approve that. 
nobody can do that can we express all our feelings especially towards others no we will be in danger we will be in danger then when sometimes we get angry we feel like slapping another person no we cannot express it and not can you express all the time no you cannot the same way so the homosexual attraction versus homosexual action that is why we should be we should be careful we should be careful they are contrary to the natural law so i think i don't need to explain much on this one now is almost clear right they are not complementary they cannot uh, they are against the natural law natural law is something which is there in the essence of the creature man and woman male and female even with the plants we have the the natural law male and female isn't it science sperm ovum all these things are science naturally created not human being has created so it is against the natural law but man's law is something based on now you have the traffic lights here traffic police here they are taking pictures when you go without helmet is it a natural law or man's law you violate doesn't matter you get punished that's it you are not going to be killed out of no nobody is going to shoot you if you violate a traffic light but you are violating you will be punished for that so there are natural law and man's law so when two people of the same sex are wanted to get married it is against the natural law the church cannot approve that it is contrary to the natural law yeah do not proceed this is again from the um, uh, ccc do not proceed from a genuine affective and sexual complementarity yes free faithful total fruitful reference to our youtube channel please all of you is very important especially before marriage you have to watch this christian marriage vows i think somebody has watched somebody shared with me i was so glad when um, that person is in the seventh standard she started watching my videos in um, uh, yeah here it is so i didn't want to identify you know uh, reveal your name but you are voluntarily did that's fine she started watching from seventh standard onwards my episodes in shalom right it's still there it's still going around and she's so fascinated about it that's a wonderful thing when you get free time instead of watching other things just watch these are all these things are very clearly very very simple way it is given there are so many other um videos also okay this is a key point i just wanted to say the complementarity against the complementarity the exchange of consent is only a sign of coming to be for the marriage without consummation the marriage is not yet constituted in its full reality the consummation of male and female husband and wife is very important for the validity of the marriage in the case of same sex people can this happen they can do lot of sexual activities to satisfy each other's lust or feelings but it will never become a sexual union never become a sexual union because there the sexual union is meant to communicate i give myself to you totally freely faithfully and fruitfully as a self giving gift as christ love the church this is the marriage vow they are fulfilling so two people of the same sex cannot express the marriage vows at all through the sexual union they can do lot of things that's why it is saying it is against the unity and procreative dimension of the conjugal love the catholic church can never approve that's what i believe 
the Catholic Church can never approve the same-sex union. I always say this. Because it's a fundamental truth, the church cannot go against that. Even if some bishops or cardinals, they say, we need to change the church, the mind of the people in the church and the mind of the Catholic Church is different. They cannot do that. So now, 2,358 saying, what we should do with these people? Again, the number of men and women who have deep-seated homosexual tendencies is not negligible. The church knows that. This inclination, which is objectively disordered, constitute for most of them a trial, pain. They must be accepted with respect, compassion, and sensitivity. Every sign of unjust discrimination in their regard should be avoided. These persons are called to fulfill God's will in their lives and if they are Christians, to unite to the sacrifice of the Lord's cross the difficulties they may encounter from their condition. 2,358. That is a solution the church says. And... Um, I don't know about India, but in U.S. and uh, places like that, there are a lot of organizations in the church who are supporting them to come back to the, the normal life. There are many cases who got changed their orientation. So some people say we are born that way, they are not born that way. Some people say we cannot change ever, but it's difficult because we don't know the psychological genesis of it. But there are many cases people have come back to the orientation. Till then we have to keep praying and offering our suffering to the Lord and um, wait for his healing touch. I think with this I will conclude here.